Hey guys, Michael from Fire and Brilliance. And as promised, I told you I'm going to continue with these colored gemstones, the most popular gemstones rather of each color, okay? So I've already gone over the reds and the blues. So if you haven't checked those out, definitely check it out, okay? Today's episode will be about green gemstones, both labs and naturals. Which ones are the most popular in the market? If you don't know and you're searching, then you came to the right channel and I'm gonna get right into it for you. All right, so the first gemstone that I want to go over is a gemstone that I've already gone over in my other episode. It's a topaz, but like many gemstones in the marketplace, uh, a topaz will come with different colors as well, okay? So uh, in this episode, we are going to go over a rainforest passion green, all right? And again, the mineral is a silicate mineral or a rock forming mineral made of silicate groups, which is the largest and most important class of minerals that make up approximately 90% of the Earth's crust. Uh, now, specifically a green topaz will have a slightly bluish green color to it. And the mineral is a silicate mineral of aluminum and fluorine. And the impurities of a topaz will make up its color. In this case, uh, the impurities makes up the green. In the Mo scale, it's an eight, and it's available in both natural and lab. The next gemstone is a tourmaline. In the previous episodes, I've also gone over, gone over different colors of tourmaline, but tourmaline is also available in green, okay? So again, the impurities of the mineral will make up the different colors depending on the type of mineral it is. In this case, you can find a green tourmaline. It's also a silicon mineral. The color is a medium light to dark yellowish green. It's a crystalline boron silicon mineral compounded with elements such as aluminum, iron, magnesium, sodium, lithium, and potassium. The Mo scale is 7 to 7.5 and it can be found as a natural or lab created. The next gemstone that I want to go over is also a gemstone that is available in different colors as well. It's a garnet or a savorite, okay? Uh, it's also a silicate mineral. The color is medium to medium dark, very slightly yellowish green. Now the mineral is also a silicate mineral and the Mo scale is 6.5 to 7.5 and it's also available in natural and lab. Now the next gemstone is actually pretty known in terms of green gemstones, all right? Um, uh, now some people may know it and some people may not, but it's called the Peridot. The color is medium to dark yellowish green and the mineral is olivine. On the Mo scale, or the hardness scale, is between a 6.5 to a 7, and it can also be found as a natural and a lab. The next gemstone is called a quartz, all right? The color, the green color of a quartz is a very light, slightly yellowish green. So it's not exactly green, it's not exactly yellow, it's the right in between, one of those uh, very in between colors, okay? So again, a slight, yellowish green. The mineral is a quartz composed of silicon and oxygen atoms. On the Mo scale, it's a seven, and it's also available in natural and lab. And the last gemstone that I'm going to be over is probably the most popular and most well-known, worldwide known green gemstone on planet Earth, and that's the emerald. Now, if you haven't checked out the emerald Geminar video that I created a couple of months ago. Go ahead and definitely check that out. The link will be above for you to view and study in much more depth uh, than in this specific video. Uh, but in short, the emerald has a mineral called beryl. The color is medium dark to dark. And the hardness is about a 7.5 to an 8 on the Mo scale. And it's also available as a natural gemstone found on in Mother Earth and can be lab created. 
All right, guys, so I really hope you guys like what you saw there. If you definitely like the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment in uh, the comment section below. If you're new to the channel, then welcome. You've been following us, you've been watching us, and thank you so much for all of the support over the years. I really appreciate it. Uh, again, we'll continue to go through all of the colors. Uh, there are still so many other colors out there from purples to pinks, okay, to yellows. Uh, so that being said, obviously, stay tuned for the next couple of weeks, I'll continue to go over all of the popular gemstones. Uh, again, I'm Michael from Fire and Brilliance, and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.